Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with an easy quilt block. We are actually going to be making two quilt blocks today. We're going to make one and then a mirror image of that one. That will give me probably way too many options on the quilt board, but I feel like playing on the quilt board, so that's what I'm doing. And we need just two colors for this. I'm going with this brown that, I don't know, I might have just used this in another block, but it's here, I'm using it. And then this that has different colors. There's no brown in this, but there's like an olive green. And hey, I don't care, it's gonna go. We are going to be making two half square triangles and we'll be using both of them and we're going to make a strip set. So let me cut my stuff and I'll tell you what I did. I cut two five inch squares. I'm going with five inch squares in case you have some charm packs that you'd like to use up. We'll be using these to make the half square triangles. I also cut two strips one and a half inches this way and various lengths. I'm just going to be making a strip set. If you wanted to do this project with a charm pack, obviously you're not going to have strips that match. So you could use your charm pack, make that all scrappy, all different prints, and then just pick two solids or something or two other prints that go with your charm pack and use that. It'll be a different look, but hey, it might be really super cool. So I'm going to make a strip set. I don't know if I'm going to have enough of this. If not, I'll make another strip. So I'm just going to sew these two together, right sides together, with about a quarter of an inch seam allowance on one side. I have my strip set and I didn't bother to trim the tail on it. I'm just leaving it like that. Now let's make our two half square triangles. So we want right sides together. We're going to draw a line on the diagonal, corner to corner. And we're going to sew on each side of the diagonal. I just put my foot along the line and use that as a guide. And I like to press mine while it's flat like this to relax that thread. You don't have to do that. I'm not the pressing police. You do what you want. And I'm going to cut on the diagonal. Generally, you press while it's flat because it does relax the thread and it makes it easier to press open. And I figure instead of pressing these two things separately, I just press them while they're together. But now I'm going to go press open. And I'm also often asked, which side do we press to? You can press to the dark side if you want. The only reason that is usually suggested is because if you press to the light side, sometimes you can see the seam allowance underneath, especially if you're using white. But again, there's no law. You can press to whatever side you want. The one thing I do not do is I do not open and press. I don't have time for that shit. So I press to one side always, unless it's absolutely necessary to press open for some weird reason. I haven't come across that reason yet. Now we are going to um, be adding our, what the hell do you call this thing? Strip set. And I'm just gonna figure out how I wanna do it. I'll be right back. I'm glad I checked my print master because I kind of designed this last night and I completely forgot what I did. I just used, you know, regular uh, graphic squares and did something on print master to get an idea of what I'd like to do today. All right, so what I'm doing is whatever color you decide to have here, have your diagonal going this way like I have. So I'm putting my dark color here. So that means I want to sew my dark color here. Yes, that's correct. So I'm just going here and I'm going to sew right on this edge. This is what I have so far. And I'm just going to trim this to match the sides of the block. Now I want to add my strip set this way. I think, let me go check. Yes, this is what I had in mind. So I'm going to attach it with the brown here. I'm going to just match it up to my left bottom corner. I'm going to go like that and sew on that side. And this is what I have now. And I'm going to trim once again. And I can promise you this is not perfect. 
but I don't take the time to trim every little thing. When you put your blocks together, you can just eyeball it. And if like one side seems a little bit crooked, you just, I don't know. I just put them together and I just sew. I don't care how it comes out. I'm showing you the block the way I was seeing it. You can see I chose to have my brown on the bottom left hand side. And then I sewed the strip set here first with the brown touching. Then I sewed this strip set with the brown touching. Now we're going to make the mirror image of that. I have to turn it so that I can see it so it makes sense. So this time I'm going to do it with the brown to the bottom right. I have to go check my drawing first. I get a lot of exercise going back and forth to my computer. Yes, it's the same way. Oh, I'm not going to have enough strip set, am I? Oh, I might. So I'm going to do the same thing at the top, the brown touching. So I'm going to go sew that right there. When I'm trimming like this, I'm just putting my ruler to the edge of my half square triangle, using that as the guide. Oh, am I going to have enough? Now I have to put this, oh, oh shoot, I don't. All right, I've got to go get another piece of this and I have to cut it an inch and a half wide. So I just cut this piece off and that's going into my crumb pile. And I just cut a strip and I'm going to press it really quick. I'm going to sew these two things together. I don't care what's left over, it goes in the crumb pile. All right, now that I have all that straightened out, I'm going to go ahead and sew this like that, right there. And this is what we end up with. So excited to do this on the quilt board. Now I will say, if you make this and you put them together, I, you know, obviously if you were to sew them this way to try to make the, the point, things probably won't match up perfectly. I can see mine don't. I have one brown bar a little bit up higher than the other. First, that doesn't matter. You can still do it if you want. But the other thing is, is you can certainly put them together in a way where nothing matches up on purpose. So, let's see. Or even like this. So there's certainly going to be a lot of options on the quilt board. Stick around and watch it. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future quilt blocks. And if you like ASMR, I have an ASMR channel you might be interested in, Sounds and Whispers ASMR. I will have a link to that down below, and I'll try to put it on the end screen. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!